north of Kauai. We're obviously on Kauai Leonard Watch. Some updates about a Laker team that could become the villain of professional sports in America. The very latest coming up. Sounds great. Thanks, Colin. Time for our final topic of the day. Ezekiel Elliott will not be punished for this altercation with the security guard at a Vegas music festival back in May. The NFL announced that yesterday after Zeke met with Roger Goodell earlier this week. Shannon, surprised there was no punishment. I was a little surprised, Skip, because I thought he would get one game. The commissioner told him last time he saw Zeke, I don't want to see you again. Stay out of trouble. And somehow Zeke found himself back in trouble again. So I am surprised he didn't get a game. <clears throat> and I read Zeke tweet that, he, you know, he's going to do a better job of staying out of trouble. He hasn't, and I don't believe that he will. This is who he is. Mm. He's immensely talented, very productive. So your tolerance level is going to be with him a lot higher than it would other players. But I am a little surprised that he didn't get at least a game. I am shocked, pleasantly shocked. <laughs> This felt like a little makeup call to me, but just a little one, because I still say Zeke did not deserve the six games he got back in 2017. Mm -hmm. But this was an indefensible act of, yeah. of misbehavior in Las Vegas. Right. I, I, the more I watch it, the worse it gets. So I concluded once he got called to the principal's office where he went all the way to New York to sit with the commissioner, mm -hmm. I thought, well, he's at least going to get his wrist slapped with right. one game. Right. And it deserved one game. Not not 2017, right. but this right. did. Right. So, I I don't know. Maybe it's because the CBA negotiations right. are about to. And the thing would be, Skip, if he had given them a game, I'm not going to come out here and, and protest. Go to the tallest mountains, like, oh, commit, you were wrong for this. Zeke did not deserve to get a game. Zeke deserved a game because he put himself in the very situation he said he was going to avoid. Mm -hmm. Once he got done seeing the commissioner last time. Mm. Even, even, Skip, like I said, I don't know what transpired in the, the hotel room, but if they had given him three games for pulling that girl's top down, I don't think anybody better than I. Mm -mm. No. So, Cowboys get a break, and that bodes well for this it season. Does, Maybe it, it's going to be meant to happen. be. Same Great thing. Great stuff, same gentlemen. Thing. Great stuff as always. Happy fourth. No playoffs. That's it for us. We're back tomorrow morning. Right now, Colin tells you what we've learned about Kawhi Leonard. Happy fourth, everybody. The Herd starts now. Happy 4th of July, live in Los Angeles. This is The Herd. Wherever you may be, we hope you're having a great day, chilling out and watching us. Uh, iHeartRadio, we're on Fox Sports Radio, XM Sirius Channel 83, and right here on FS1. We are obviously on Kawhi Leonard Watch. I'll give you the very latest. This is what I do for a living. I'll tell you what I've been told. Uh, I have been told it is a coin flip Raptors Lakers and the Clippers are third. My friend Chris Broussard reported this morning that the Clippers are officially out of the running. Uh, now, I've, th this entire process, uh, I have only made one prediction. I made it a month ago. Kyrie Irving would go to the Nets. And the reason I made that prediction was because I had an NBA player in the Eastern Conference and a former All-Star who knows Kyrie, both tell me he'd made a decision a month ago. That's the only one I felt strongly about. The rest of this stuff, we just don't know. I read something in an article this morning from Woj. Teams have simply been told this. If information on your presentation gets out, you are really imperiling your chance of signing Kawhi Leonard. They want it to be private. Oh, okay. That's interesting because the only team that's kept it quiet and private has been the Clippers, and they're out. That's why free agency is so unpredictable. These are 27 and 28-year-old young men making career-altering eight-figure, nine-figure decisions. You don't think it's hard? I've made several of these decisions in my 40s, and it was, and I didn't have nine figures. Uh, they weren't life-altering, and it was hard for me every time, every single time. I mean, could you have guessed KD? The world's best basketball player arguably would choose the second most interesting team in New York, 30th in attendance, Nets. Kawhi would be still considering a Lakers circus. Jimmy Butler would go from NBA championship contender Philly to a seventh seed in the East Miami. Al Horford would bail on the Celtics. Paul George chooses Westbrook in Oklahoma City over L.A. He's from California. Yeah, NBA free agency... Coincidentally, on Independence Day, 
These guys are independent thinkers. You don't know what you're getting. Let's, let's talk about the Raptors and Kawhi Leonard. So he's still considering Toronto. Did you watch yesterday? It's like the Bronco chase, the OJ treatment, following all over Canada. And his camera's following all, them, all over the country. We know they had a final meeting. How do we know that? It leaked. We had fans and people waiting outside of the office building. Kawhi and his people were going to meet the Raptors. How did that get out? It leaked. Drake apparently was in the meetings. I thought he was quiet and covert and wanted to keep it under wraps. You're not going to keep anything under wraps with Drake involved. How about the Lakers situation? We found out five minutes after Magic Johnson and Kawhi talked, we found out about the phone call. It's like we had a transcript. I found out everything they talked about. Chris Broussard went item to item, story to story. How did that get out? Leak. Yesterday, a story broke, leaked. Uh, he's already decided on a two-plus-one deal with the Lakers. Nobody's quite sure where it leaked from. Some are suggesting it's Clutch Sports, LeBron's agency, AD's agency. I don't know. But Toronto's been noisy. The Lakers has been a circus. The Clippers, not a peep. Steve Ballmer, the owner, not a peep. Jerry West, not a peep. Doc Rivers, not a peep. Covert, just like Kawhi. And they're out. <laughs> they're out. If keeping it quiet was really crucial, the one team that has kept it quiet, the Clippers, who, by the way, also have a great culture and a nice young roster and a bunch of young kids, they feel like Toronto. They got all the elements in place. They just need a face. They just need a star. And you won last year with Toronto. You could argue, you could certainly argue the Clippers are just a warm weather version of the Raptors. They're out. So when, when people try to predict, I mean, I was told Kevin Durant loved the people in the Knicks front office. He didn't even give them a meeting. Did anybody think Jimmy Butler was considering Miami? I mean, it, the, the Clippers are going to finish third on this thing. They're, they've been the most professional. They've been the quietest. We don't know anything what these kids want. These are hard decisions. Free agency has been a guessing game. Outside of Kyrie to the Nets, who could figure out any of this stuff? I've been told Raptors, Lakers, coin flip. Clippers are third. Broussard said Clippers are out. And they've, they've been the one that's done it right. All right, so I saw this story. Kevin Durant, quote, wasn't too fond of Steve Kerr, according to Stephen A. Smith. They did not have a great relationship. He wasn't fond of Steve Kerr at all. Okay, so who wasn't Kevin Durant offended by? The Bay Area media, Draymond Green, the medical staff, and now Steve Kerr. Steph Curry's been there for a decade. He's never had a bad afternoon. He's gotten along with everybody. He had to go through a coach being fired. Kevin Durant joining the team. Boogie Cousins comes in. He got along with everybody. I mean, Tom Brady's been in New England 19 years. He had one dust-up about a year ago with Bill Belichick, and they solved it. KD, three years in Oakland, and I mean... A perfect team, a perfect owner, a perfect coach, a former player, a perfect teammate star, a perfect chemistry. And he didn't get along with Steve Kerr either. I mean, folks, this is like staying the night at a Ritz-Carlton and complaining that the pillows are too soft. If you can Boogie Cousins worked with the Warriors. Nick Young worked with the Warriors. We all thought JaVale McGee was kind of goofy. He worked with the Warriors. Everybody works for the Warriors. I mean, the Warriors walked on eggshells for three years with Kevin Durant. And now we find out he didn't like the coach. I think Charles Barkley had it right. KD is just really, really absurdly sensitive. First of all, he's a great, great basketball player. And he's a wonderful, wonderful man. But he's one of those guys who worry about what everybody thinks. The one thing you can't worry about when you're rich, famous, good-looking, or great at a sport is other people. All the ugly girls hate the homecoming queen. <laughs> they, they have no reason, but they just hate her. I think he got thin skin, and I don't understand why. He's one of the greatest, greatest basketball players ever. He's a nice man, but he has that gene. The Warriors 
catered to KD. They did everything for KD. They walked on eggshells for KD. And the NBA media too often just panders. These are grown men. Some of this is on Kevin Durant. And oh, by the way, do you know who he's chosen to spend the next five years of his career with? Kyrie Irving. Kevin Durant is six foot eleven and a half of turbulence. Kyrie Irving is six two of turbulence. That's an airline I'm not gonna fly. Even on clear days, it's bumpy. Because if you couldn't get along with Steve Kerr, I've been covering the NBA for years. I don't think there's anybody in the league that doesn't like Steve Kerr. He went out of his way to get along with you. So did Steph and Clay. I mean, Draymond a couple of times, poked you in the ribs, said things that were a little personal. It's pro sports. Guys argue. Peyton Manning used to scream at his, his buddy, all-pro center Jeff Saturday. It's on NFL Films. You yell, you scream, you get over it. Nick Wright on First Things First this morning tried to explain Kevin Durant's displeasure with all things Warriors. The other thing that he really wanted was a close, deep, almost familial friendship with someone on the team, and that didn't come either. So you had Kevin Durant, after that first title, feeling almost, according to the people that know him, worse than before because he actually finally grasped the thing he wanted mm -hmm. and realized, well, if that don't make me feel whole, then what the hell can? At some point, to be loved, you gotta love. Some of this is on Kevin Durant. The Warriors did everything you could do. They all flew cross country to meet him. Like, like on, on a holiday weekend, and the, all these rich guys in an offseason, they flew to meet him. And they come back, and the star, Steph Curry, over and over, he's the best player on this team, we need him. It, 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 everything. They let him have his own medical guy and the other medical staff. They gave him everything he wanted. They won. I mean, this is, again, this is the four seasons of, of hotels. This is the Ritz-Carlton. If you're struggling with the Warriors, Nick Young and Boogie Cousins worked. Andre Iguodala was an all-star player. They told him, you got to go to the bench. And they were able to sandpaper that. Iggy never complained. I mean, they, they, this is one of the smart organizations. At some point, we got to stop pandering. Some of this, frankly, and he's not a bad guy, but some of this is just on Kevin. He's turbulent, even during clear skies. Uh, loaded today, uh, th three teams are waiting on Kawhi Leonard. Um, and, and there are three already good teams. What happens to each if they don't get him? That's coming up. In Los Angeles, Happy Fourth, Rick Buecher, Catino Mobley, among others, it's the Herd.